After the defeat of Android Perfect Cell Max, Gohan managed to achieve extraordinary powers where many wondered if he had surpassed Goku's powers. Gohan Beast Mode 2 impresses everyone by showing his true form. Gohan's Beast Mode embodies the Supreme God and humiliates Goku and Beerus in front of everyone. Speak up my partner, alright? So whack that like button, subscribe here on the channel so you don't miss any video related to our universe of Z Warriors. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. Universe 7, Planet Earth, Goku's House Goku and Vegeta found themselves in another training session alongside Beerus and Whis. While Earth was in charge of being brought to peace by Gohan's side, Piccolo and the other Z Warriors. Goku and Vegeta were with their powers much higher but they didn't expect Gohan to be showing more skills and more powers than in the past. Many things ended up being developed within the whole story. Gohan has a dream. Gohan kept training to show all his power because even his final transformation to me was not the limit of his strength. At that moment, Gohan believed that he could get stronger and stronger until the moment he starts to hear a voice whispering in his ear. That voice says, Gohan, it's time for us to start acting. They will still be able to take everything from you. You are more powerful than all of this. The time has come for you to show your true power. Come on Gohan, show now everything you are capable of. Come on, show the true power of a god. The power of the one who is above everything and everyone Gohan, the Saiyan hybrid child. Gohan starts to wonder who is talking, who are you anyway? The voice answers, I am you your greatest power that is sleeping inside you. Gohan wakes up. Gohan starts talking to Videl. Videl says, After you showed incredible powers against the new cell, you were a little different. Gohan responds, I think I'm still learning to control all these powers of mine. Unlike before, I only fought to want to bring justice. But now it seems like as a Saiyan, I fight so that I can get stronger just for the pleasure of fighting. Am I really getting the way my father is? And is my Saiyan hybrid side talking much louder than the others? It seems to be a little crazy when I think that for most of my life I was trained by Mr. Piccolo and my mother just wanted me to stay calm, studying and now it seems I can't wait for moments of struggle. I want to get stronger and stronger. Piccolo arrives at Gohan's house and calls him to train. Piccolo says, Come on Gohan, the time has come. Piccolo and Gohan every day did a series of trainings so that Gohan wouldn't get rusty. After they defeated Perfect Cell Max, Gohan said, Mr. Piccolo, we have to train more and more. After all, we don't know to what extent new threats can show. So you already know, let's really show our true powers. Gohan begins to raise even more heavenly power. After training, Piccolo begins to notice an extreme difference in Gohan's energy. He appeared to be Divine Key. Meanwhile, directly on planet Beerus, while Goku, Vegeta and Beerus were carrying out their training, everyone stopped training and began to observe a huge difference in power that was happening on Earth. We starts laughing and says, Mr. Beerus, looks like we'll have a visitor here soon. Beerus responds, I'm already realizing that we will have a very interesting news. Apparently, the games will start. Goku and Vegeta didn't quite understand what was happening. Back to planet Earth. Gohan says, Mr. Piccolo, I think it's time we asked whether the training we're doing is greater than the training of the gods. I once fought my father only when he had my ultimate form and was defeated. But now I'm sure I could defeat him. Gohan asks Piccolo to help him communicate directly with Whis so that they can get to the planet Beerus. Beerus at first does not accept and says, How do these mortals think they can enter my planet? My planet is a sacred planet that only powerful gods and beings can enter with my permission. 
Whis watches and speaks. Mr. Beerus, don't be so rude. Don't be so angry about it. Let them in. They don't mean to harm anyone. They just want to test a little of their powers. Goku and Vegeta are here. It will be interesting. Beerus responds angrily. We'll let it be then, Whis. Whis teleports Gohan and Piccolo to the planet Beerus. Goku watches and speaks. Gohan, for a long time. It's been a long time since I saw you, but I heard that you managed to protect Earth and soon after defeated Cell himself. Does that mean Cell came back stronger? You must have gotten a lot more powerful. Gohan watches and speaks. Yes, Daddy, for sure I got stronger and maybe even stronger than you. Vegeta smiles and says, What arrogance! Does that mean that you are so sure of your power? Well, come fight me. Piccolo interrupts Vegeta and speaks. With you soon I will fight. It seems that Gohan wants a rematch with his father as he has shown great powers and great developments in the past. So, let's analyze all this that will happen. Gohan sure has a lot more powers to show, and I'm sure his development in battle has increased a lot more. Believe! This Gohan is not the same Gohan as before. He is a totally different being. At that moment, Goku and Gohan prepare to fight. Gohan says, Father, it won't be as easy for you to defeat me as before. Let's start. Gohan activates his Super Saiyan form and Goku also activates the same transformation. The two start to fight and have an amazing fight until the moment that Goku says, Won't you show all your might at once like you did last time? Gohan smiles and replies, Why would I show all my power if I don't need to use it right now? If you don't show more than that, I guarantee you won't be able to beat me, Dad. At that moment, Goku activates the Super Saiyan 2 and gets a little angry. As Gohan continues to utilize his Super Saiyan form, Goku notes that Gohan has managed to get much stronger than before because he hasn't even used his ultimate form. Gohan smiles and activates his ultimate form, starting to take a huge advantage over Goku. However, Goku directly activates Super Saiyan Blue combined with Kaioken augmented 100 times. The battle starts to get tougher. Beerus starts to get interested and says, It seems that Son Goku's son is much stronger than before. This fight is getting really interesting. The battle starts to get more and more intriguing. We can see that Gohan is smiling. Gohan speaks. Come on, Dad, do you think I'm not worthy of you to use your Ultra Instinct? Goku starts to smile and says, If this is what you want now, you will know the true strength of the being that is acclaimed the mortal who can perform the technique that the gods have the most difficulties with. At that moment, Goku activates the Ultra Instinct. Gohan starts to smile and says, very interesting your transformation, but now you will know the true power of Hybrid Saiyan Essence. Gohan activates his final form. Beerus and everyone else starts to become surprised. Silver hair, red eyes, it reminds me of a person from the past. Is this boy? Is it not possible? If this really is real and he unleashes all his strength, Lord Goku won't stand a chance. Furious Vegeta says, This boy in the past had already shown incredible powers. He saved the Earth in a situation where we were in no position to defeat the enemy. He was extremely powerful and now from what I'm seeing, this boy really still managed to get stronger. Piccolo says, he didn't stop training for a moment, so now he can do amazing things. Goku started to fight with his Ultra Instinct, while Gohan showed great mastery with his Beast Mode. The battle started to get more and more intriguing until the moment when Goku started to have a little advantage because Gohan started to feel a little pain in his head. Goku says, Come on Gohan, what's going on with you? Show your power soon. Is that all? 
Gohan starts to hear the voice in his head again. The voice says, You are superior to all of this. You are superior to all these beings. Come on, show what you are really capable of. Gohan's power starts to explode more and more. His hair grows out of his shirt and rips. Gohan begins to have the pupil of his eye completely whitish and red streaks on his body. Gohan teleports behind Goku and hangs him saying, Look dad, I think now that I am going to put you to sleep. Vegeta is impressed and speaks. What kind of transformation is this? Piccolo is also surprised and says, I confess that I had not seen this transformation. I don't know what's going on with Gohan. Beerus asks, What is this? Come on, explain Whis. Whis starts to smile and speaks. It seems that Son Goku's son has the power of the Saiyan Supreme God, that God that surpasses even Yamoshi's strength. It seems that not only Lord Goku, but all of us are in a sticky situation right now. Gohan looks at Goku and says, Well, I don't know what to do. If I must defeat all of you here now, I believe that first I will defeat you father and the next will be Mr. Beerus. Then I'll decide what I'm gonna do with this whole universe. Goku watches and speaks. Gohan, what are you talking about? This cannot happen. Everyone was impressed with the transformation that Gohan showed against Goku. Some believed it to be the Beast Mode 2 transformation, but at another point, we seemed to look at things in a very different way. Vegeta says, What is Kakarot thinking? Will he be defeated by his son? Has this boy really managed to surpass the powers of Ultra Instinct? What's happening? Not even Piccolo knew of these powers. At that moment, many things began to unfold in a totally different way. Gohan had received extremely high powers after hearing a whisper in his head, causing him to increase his powers even more. Gohan is developing the most powerful energy. Gohan hangs Goku and says, Dad, looks like I'm over you this time, but now I will rebuild everything. I don't know what is happening to me, but I feel that with this power, I can rule the universe. Goku watched and spoke. Gohan, what's going on? Let's end this fight. What is this story about wanting to organize the universe? You are showing a new look and a new personality. What is really happening to you? At that moment, Beerus begins to observe and says, This kid is fighting really well. But apparently, after he activated this new transformation, his personality started to change completely. What is he doing? Whis is watching. Beerus says, Whis, you know what's going on, don't you? Speak soon. What is happening to this boy's body? Whis laughs and says, Without a doubt, white hair, red eyes, whitish pupils, muscle mass greater than a normal human being, and red streaks on the body. It is certainly from the eighth supreme god. At that moment, Beerus says, What? This can only be madness. I thought the legend of this one wasn't false, and you're saying that the eighth supreme god is in this boy's body? Whis says, I think the situation is even worse, Sir Beerus. This boy is actually the reincarnation of the eighth supreme god. It seems that this will put us in a very complicated situation. At that moment, Gohan releases Goku and starts putting his hands on his head. Planet Beerus starts to collapse whole. Beerus uses sealing magic on Gohan. Gohan starts to take a deep breath and says, This barrier won't stop me here for long. You know that very well, Sir Beerus. Meanwhile, I will reflect and think what my next act will be before ruling the entire universe. At that moment, Goku returns to his normal state and asks Whis, Mr. Whis, what's going on with Gohan? Whis responds, well, for you to understand what is happening to your child's body, first we will have to talk about this appearance of him, which is the same appearance of the Supreme God. Whis on the planet Beerus began to tell everything that had happened. Whis says, This was all a millennia ago in the first heavenly war. 
flash back to the first celestial war. At this time, great battles take place due to the conflict between the heavenly rulers. The great priest was still in training, just as Mary is in training to become an angel. The great priest fought a lot. He was always ahead of all the enemies that appeared there. There were eight beings who were extremely powerful and were considered to be the supreme gods. The supreme gods go far beyond the normal gods and also the gods of destruction. There was the being who was the creator of Zenosama and he was very strong. When the battle began in the celestial war, many believed that there would be no escape and several angels were killed in this war to protect the true creators of existence. But these eight gods, no matter how many angels fought together, none of those gods were defeated. The battles became more and more intriguing until the moment when the eighth supreme god appeared and laid waste to a gigantic horde of angels. The high priest was regarded as a prodigy and it was at this time that the high priest managed to perform the secret technique of planetary devastation and caused seven of the supreme gods to be sealed. In an unprecedented battle, the eighth supreme god became very furious and simply arrived and began to fight in a life and death struggle against the great priest. The great priest had been at a great disadvantage in the battle until the moment when he was about to be defeated. However, he had the help of another horde of angels that still remained. All these angels gave their power to the great priest. Daishin Khan said, Supreme God, I know that for you, I can just be an angel apprentice and you're used to defeating us all. You really wanted to consider yourself the destroyer of the universe since you couldn't dominate it. You wanted to defeat everything and everyone. This power was literally incredible power. At various times, I felt that you could be the victor in this celestial war. I know it's not the first time there's been a war and I know it won't end now. One day you will still want to come back, but until that day happens, you will be destroyed. At that moment, the great priest with the power of all the angels used the planetary devastation and destroyed the eighth supreme god. Until then, we believed that the eighth supreme god had been killed by the high priest. They usually say the supreme gods only reincarnate in the strongest. Back to the current moments, Whis says, We've been saying for a while that Lord Goku was the reincarnation of Yamoshi, the first Saiyan God. So it means that this boy has an even greater potential than Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta. That's why he managed to activate all that power. This is going to be incredible. So that means things are going to get pretty intense. Beerus says, We're going to need to be very careful. What is this boy going to do? Okay, let's resolve this situation. At that moment, a huge explosion happens on the planet Beerus. Gohan manages to break free from the ceiling. Gohan says, Looks like the ceiling technique is over. Gohan had already deactivated his beast mode 2 form. Gohan says, Guys, I don't know what's happening to me, but I will not fight you now. I think I have business with the great priest that is far beyond me. This comes from the past. Goku says, Gohan, won't you get out of here? At that moment, Piccolo speaks. Gohan, think about it. Let's resolve this situation and let's understand what's happening to you. Gohan teleports behind Piccolo and says, Thank you so much for all the training, Sir Piccolo. But now a force within me is saying I need to get started. Gohan uses teleportation again and leaves planet Beerus. Goku watches and says, When did Gohan learn the teleportation technique? Vegeta speaks, Damn Kakarot, he could only be Kakarot's son. That couldn't happen. We speaks, Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta, I believe the two of you will have to undergo training to stop Lord Goku's son. If he really does what I'm thinking, the future of the universe is in serious jeopardy. Beerus says, 
Maybe I have to destroy him. After all, my role is that of a god of destruction. Goku interrupts. Don't do that, Sir Beerus, please. Whis starts to laugh and says, Lord Beerus knows very well that if Gohan is embodied in the 8th Supreme God, not even Lord Beerus will be able to defeat him. What is Gohan doing now? Zenosama's Palace Gohan teleports directly to Zeno's palace. At that moment, Gohan arrives and sees the great priest at the entrance of the palace. The great priest says, I know you are the son of Sen Goku, but I feel an ancient energy coming from you. How can I help you here? Gohan smiles and says, Great priest, I don't know what's happening to me, but you must have answers. The only thing I know is that I need to end you. The great priest starts to smile and stares at Gohan. You see, I know that voice and I know that ancestral energy. What audacity, Eighth Supreme God! To be continued. What is going on? Gohan's personality has changed. Will Gohan be able to perform this transformation and still control this power? What is Gohan's true goal? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you come out here in your comment so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel and also turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any new updates from this channel. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. Goku and Vegeta began to undergo arduous training on the planet Beerus to awaken their true latent powers. Due to the great catastrophes that were happening in the universe after the reincarnation of the Supreme God had showed himself to be Gohan and he had gone to meet directly with the High Priest. Since that moment, a major collapse has taken place and a barrier has been created inside Zenosama's palace and so far we don't know what happened. Goku, hearing the explosion that seemed to be light years away from the planet Beerus, wanted to solve the situation but knew that his powers were far inferior to that of the Supreme God. Whis makes a proposal to Goku and Vegeta. Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta, you want to get stronger and get Goku's son back, right? The only thing you need to do is get stronger and for that you will have to overcome the powers of many celestial beings because this battle could be the decisive battle of your life. At that moment, Goku says, Sir Whis, I'm sure we Saiyans have no limits to our strengths. I'm going to get much stronger and I'll be able to bring Gohan back before Mr. Zeno decides to make some other kind of decision. Whis watches and speaks. Very well, good luck, because you will need it. Planet Beerus, Vegeta says, Mr. Whis, I want to get stronger. After all, I can't be left behind Kakarot, let alone your son. Whis smiles and says, Mr. Vegeta, pay close attention. You have the Ultra Ego. This power works in a totally different way than the Ultra Instinct. This time I have a suggestion for you to save time because with every second that passes, things start to get more and more intense within other universes. We don't know what Gohan embodied in the 8th God is doing, nor do we know if he has started a battle against the High Priest. If this boy is a reincarnation of the Supreme God, this entire power is his alone but the lack of control can cause catastrophic things to be created. The same way Broly showed his powers and he just didn't run away from his sanity, so he needed to know how to control his anger. I'm thinking about the best way for training you, Mr. Vegeta, the same way I'm thinking about Mr. Goku. But I don't think it makes any sense for me to train the two of you now. You two already possess the true techniques for martial arts. Beerus starts watching and says, Whis, maybe it's time to take them to that place. Whis starts to laugh and says, Are you sure, Sir Beerus? Goku and Vegeta don't understand what Beerus was trying to say. At that moment, Beerus speaks, Surely, you must know the room of time in the temple of Kami-sama. After all, you trained there for years and managed to become much stronger. 
That there can be considered as another dimension. There is also the empty dimension where Frieza was able to achieve his black form. This form of Frieza had truly surpassed the power of the two of you. But now things got more intense. There are some powers that can only be mastered for both Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct when training in the God Dimension is carried out. Goku doesn't understand and speaks. Dimension of the Gods? I didn't even know it existed. We starts laughing and says, But there is. You have to understand that within all universes there are different training dimensions. Time passes very slowly without aging the one who is there. On Earth, you own Kami-sama's time room. In Galaxy Number 7, there is the empty dimension that was where Frieza trained. But here on the planet Beerus, there is the room of the gods. In the room of the gods, time passes slowly, just like in the room of time. But to be able to survive in it, the user's divine key needs to be extremely high because otherwise their energy ends up being drained more and more so the user ends up going to death. You don't have much choice. Either you resolve this situation in this training or you will simply die. What will your decision be? Goku watches and speaks. Mr. Whis, I will train in the dimension of the gods. Moments after, Vegeta speaks. If Kakarot is going to enter this training, so will I. I'm already very angry with his son. I didn't even get a chance to fight him. We smiles and takes Goku and Vegeta to train in the God Dimension. This very dimension climate combined with the energy of the destitute Ultra Ego, it felt like an energy never seen before. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta start training. Goku says, Vegeta, seems like the time here is totally different and I feel very strange energies. It feels like an energy of Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego that dwell in one place. A great light appears in the body of Goku and Vegeta and they end up being separated. At that moment, a distorted version of Goku and Vegeta appears in front of the original. Goku says, But what is it that is happening? I'm not understanding anything. Out of the room of the gods, we starts watching and says, Will they get Mr. Beerus? Beerus watches and speaks. This is very complicated to say. After all, it's a technique that even I have a hard time using. We says, In fact, the angels cannot possess this ability. After all, we only possess the mastery of self-movement. But the mastery of self-movement when it is combined in just one being alone with the Ultra Ego brings about the birth of the strongest warrior. It is said that the being who manages to achieve this power will be able to defeat any enemy. Well, let's see what they will do. Vegeta fights the distorted Goku who uses his mastery of Ultra Instinct. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and with great speed begins to attack. Great battles began to take place. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and says, You can only be kidding. This Kakarot appearing in front of me seems to have even more powers than the original. Is this really the training place that takes place in the room of the gods? What are they planning here? Goku starts fighting the distorted Vegeta who had appeared using Ultra Ego. Goku says, What is Mr. Beerus trying to do? I cannot understand. Why is he making us fight other versions of ourselves? What's the point of it? At that moment, Goku begins to reason in the battle and says, Maybe it is that. Vegeta, I think I already know what they want. Maybe if we learned our techniques that we got from the gods, we would achieve a new power. At that moment, Goku starts trying to develop the energy of destruction that was Ultra Ego energy. After Goku tried to activate the Ultra Ego, his body felt a huge collapse and Goku fell to the ground in immense pain. Vegeta says, you should already know, Kakarot, that there is a great conflict between the energy of destruction and the pure mastery of Ultra Instinct. These two powers do not combine. 
If we try to do that, our bodies will explode. Days and days go by and every time Goku tries to activate his ultra instinct combined with his ultra ego body, he starts to feel a lot of pain. When Goku tries to combine ultra ego, the wear is even greater. More days pass and Goku smiles and says, This time I will make it. A big explosion happens. Goku starts fighting the fake Vegeta with ultra ego. Goku burns his energy to the max. Outside the Hall of the Gods. Beerus and Whis sense a big difference what was happening there. Whis says, What could have happened? Moments after, a great tremor in the Room of the Gods occurs. Beerus says, This can only be a joke. You ended up destroying the Room of the Gods. To rebuild such a room will take me months. At that moment, Vegeta with his totally exhausted body was feeling fascinated. Soon after, Goku started to smile and says, I think we got it Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis. Whis is surprised and says, How so? What happened? Did you manage to master this technique? Vegeta starts laughing and talks. It looked like we were going to die until the moment I saw that Kakarot pushed his energy to the max to manage to combine the mastery of Ultra Instinct alongside his Ultra Ego and his skin was different. Scratchers appeared on his body and his hair started to get spiky. That transformation was incredible. Apart from that, cracks in time began to be created. Shortly after Kakarot had this transformation, he fell down and became unconscious. It took me days to raise that same power. I knew I could get stronger because I'd seen him show this transformation. Right after I achieved this new form and after my power was taken more and more, how did I not know how to destroy and how to return? From that room of time, I just had to create a time rift and destroy it. I'm sorry, but now I think we're ready. Whis is fascinated. Beerus says, Vegeta, you pay me, so you're the one who destroyed the room of time. At that moment, a great light year tremor appears. Everyone is scared. The Palace of Zeno Summer. Zeno wakes up from his dream and says, Great priest, who is this guy? Zeno Sama begins to face Gohan embodied in the Supreme God. Back to planet Beerus. Beerus gets serious and says, Looks like it's about to start. Glad you managed to get stronger. Goku and Vegeta begin to undergo arduous training on the planet Beerus to awaken their true latent powers. Due to the great catastrophes that were happening in the universe after the reincarnation of the Supreme God had showed himself to be Gohan and he had gone to meet directly with the High Priest. Since that moment, a major collapse has taken place and a barrier has been created inside Zeno Sama's palace and so far we don't know what happened. Goku, hearing the explosion that seemed to be light years away from the planet Beerus, wanted to solve the situation, but knew that his powers were far inferior to that of the Supreme God. Whis makes a proposal to Goku and Vegeta. Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta, you want to get stronger and get Goku's son back, right? The only thing you need to do is get stronger and for that you will have to overcome the powers of many celestial beings because this battle could be the decisive battle of your life. At that moment, Goku says, Sir Whis, I'm sure we Saiyans have no limits to our strengths. I'm going to get much stronger and I'll be able to bring Gohan back before Mr. Zeno decides to make some other kind of decision. Whis watches and speaks. Very well, good luck, because you will need it. Planet Beerus, Vegeta says, Mr. Whis, I want to get stronger. After all, I can't be left behind Kakarot, let alone your son. Whis smiles and says, Mr. Vegeta, pay close attention. You have the Ultra Ego. This power works in a totally different way than the Ultra Instinct. This time I have a suggestion for you to save time because with every second that passes, things start to get more and more intense within other universes. 
We don't know what Gohan embodied in the Eighth God is doing, nor do we know if he has started a battle against the High Priest. If this boy is a reincarnation of the Supreme God, this entire power is his alone. But the lack of control can cause catastrophic things to be created. The same way Broly showed his powers and he just didn't run away from his sanity. So he needed to know how to control his anger. I'm thinking about the best way for training you Mr. Vegeta. The same way I'm thinking about Mr. Goku. But I don't think it makes any sense for me to train the two of you now. You two already possess the true techniques for martial arts. Beera starts watching and says, Whis, maybe it's time to take them to that place. We starts to laugh and says, Are you sure, Sir Beerus? Goku and Vegeta don't understand what Beerus was trying to say. At that moment, Beerus speaks, Surely, you must know the room of time in the temple of Kami-sama. After all, you trained there for years and managed to become much stronger. That there can be considered as another dimension. There is also the empty dimension where Frieza was able to achieve his black form. This form of Frieza had truly surpassed the power of the two of you. But now things got more intense. There are some powers that can only be mastered for both Ultra Ego and Ultra Instinct when training in the God Dimension is carried out. Goku doesn't understand and speaks. Dimension of the Gods? I didn't even know it existed. We starts laughing and says, But there is. You have to understand that within all universes there are different training dimensions. Time passes very slowly without aging the one who is there. On Earth, you own Kami-sama's time room. In Galaxy Number 7, there is the empty dimension that was where Frieza trained. But here on the planet Beerus, there is the Room of the Gods. In the Room of the Gods, time passes slowly, just like in the Room of Time. But to be able to survive in it, the user's divine key needs to be extremely high because otherwise their energy ends up being drained more and more so the user ends up going to death. You don't have much choice. Either you resolve this situation in this training or you will simply die. What will your decision be? Goku watches and speaks. Mr. Whis, I will train in the dimension of the gods. Moments after, Vegeta speaks. If Kakarot is going to enter this training, so will I. I'm already very angry with his son. I didn't even get a chance to fight him. Whis smiles and takes Goku and Vegeta to train in the God Dimension. This very dimension climate combined with the energy of the destitute Ultra Ego, it felt like an energy never seen before. At that moment, Goku and Vegeta start training. Goku says, Vegeta, seems like the time here is totally different and I feel very strange energies. It feels like an energy of Ultra Instinct and Ultra Ego that dwell in one place. A great light appears in the body of Goku and Vegeta and they end up being separated. At that moment, a distorted version of Goku and Vegeta appears in front of the original. Goku says, But what is it that is happening? I'm not understanding anything. Out of the room of the gods, we starts watching and says, Will they get Mr. Beerus? Beerus watches and speaks. This is very complicated to say. After all, it's a technique that even I have a hard time using. We says, In fact, the angels cannot possess this ability. After all, we only possess the mastery of self-movement. But the mastery of self-movement when it is combined in just one being alone with the Ultra Ego brings about the birth of the strongest warrior. It is said that the being who manages to achieve this power will be able to defeat any enemy. Well, let's see what they will do. Vegeta fights the distorted Goku who uses his mastery of Ultra Instinct. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and with great speed begins to attack. Great battles began to take place. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and says, 
You can only be kidding. This Kakarot appearing in front of me seems to have even more powers than the original. Is this really the training place that takes place in the room of the gods? What are they planning here? Goku starts fighting the distorted Vegeta who had appeared using Ultra Ego. Goku says, What is Mr. Beerus trying to do? I cannot understand. Why is he making us fight other versions of ourselves? What's the point of it? At that moment, Goku begins to reason in the battle and says, Maybe it is that. Vegeta, I think I already know what they want. Maybe if we learned our techniques that we got from the gods, we would achieve a new power. At that moment, Goku starts trying to develop the energy of destruction that was Ultra Ego energy. After Goku tried to activate the Ultra Ego, his body felt a huge collapse and Goku fell to the ground in immense pain. Vegeta says, You should already know, Kakarot, that there is a great conflict between the energy of destruction and the pure mastery of Ultra Instinct. These two powers do not combine. If we try to do that, our bodies will explode. Days and days go by and every time Goku tries to activate his Ultra Instinct combined with his Ultra Ego body, he starts to feel a lot of pain. When Goku tries to combine Ultra Ego, the wear is even greater. More days pass and Goku smiles and says, This time I will make it. A big explosion happens. Goku starts fighting the fake Vegeta with Ultra Ego. Goku burns his energy to the max. Outside the Hall of the Gods. Beerus and Whis sense a big difference what was happening there. Whis says, What could have happened? Moments after, a great tremor in the room of the gods occurs. Beerus says, This can only be a joke. You ended up destroying the room of the gods. To rebuild such a room will take me months. At that moment, Vegeta with his totally exhausted body was feeling fascinated. Soon after, Goku started to smile and says, I think we got it Mr. Beerus and Mr. Whis. Whis is surprised and says, how so? What happened? Did you manage to master this technique? Vegeta starts laughing and talks. It looked like we were going to die until the moment I saw that Kakarot pushed his energy to the max to manage to combine the mastery of Ultra Instinct alongside his Ultra Ego and his skin was different. Scratchers appeared on his body and his hair started to get spiky. That transformation was incredible. Apart from that, cracks in time began to be created. Shortly after Kakarot had this transformation, he fell down and became unconscious. It took me days to raise that same power. I knew I could get stronger because I'd seen him show this transformation. Right after I achieved this new form and after my power was taken more and more, how did I not know? how to destroy and how to return. From that room of time, I just had to create a time rift and destroy it. I'm sorry, but now I think we're ready. Whis is fascinated. Beerus says, Vegeta, you pay me, so you're the one who destroyed the room of time. At that moment, a great light year tremor appears. Everyone is scared. The Palace of Zenosama. Zeno wakes up from his dream and says, Great priest, who is this guy? Zeno Sama begins to face Gohan embodied in the Supreme God. Back to planet Beerus. Beerus gets serious and says, Looks like it's about to start. Glad you managed to get stronger. Goku and Vegeta break through the limits of their strength once again. Goku, after performing training alongside Vegeta in the Room of the Gods of the Planet of Destruction, Goku began to show the Weather God transformation. A transformation that was capable of creating temporal rifts within the universe. Would this be the skill needed to defeat the 8th Supreme God that was in Gohan's body so far? Is Gohan the reincarnation of the Supreme God? But are there still some enemies behind at all? What will happen within this battle? 
All right, partner. Why don't you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future on the entire Dragon Ball and Z Warriors universe. Let's get right to the point. Zenosama's Palace. Gohan faced the Great Priest. Gohan says, Great Priest, I'm not sure why I'm here, but I'm sure I need to defeat you. At least grant me a battle with you. The Great Priest began to laugh and says, What audacity! This celestial energy reminds me a lot of the one who challenged me one day and that I had to use a great power called planetary devastation to be able to send him to the next world. Is it not true, Eighth Supreme God? Gohan starts laughing and says, Very well, let's get started. Gohan activates his ultimate form. Soon after, he rages even more, activating the beast mode power. The great priest starts to laugh and says, It seems that Son Goku's son actually possesses extremely high powers. Let's see what you can show here. Gohan tries to use the mastery of self-movement and tries to land several blows on the high priest, but the high priest dodges with great speed and says, You must know that I am among the most powerful in the universe, so you would need a lot more than that to beat me. Gohan starts laughing and says, Well, he already imagined that this would have to happen. In fact, I don't even know why I alone tried to attack him. Looks like someone is trying to speak for me right now. At that moment, Gohan starts to laugh and a big shudder starts to occur inside Zenosama's palace. Gohan's body begins to change and the scratches on his body begin to show. We can see that the battle had gotten a lot more intriguing. Within moments, Gohan had once again become the 8th of the ultimate in his Beast Mode 2 form. The power of the 8th of the Supreme had already made the High Priest begin to reflect on everything that was happening. It looked like the battle would be unprecedented. The Great Priest speaks. Then that's it. You managed to get more powerful. It seemed that since the first celestial war, I hadn't felt energy as strong as yours. You mean this boy's powers interested you? Or for some reason, are you wanting to dominate this boy's body? The 8th Supreme God says, It doesn't matter, Daishin Khan. What matters is that now we will be able to clarify a battle that had started millennia ago. Isn't that fascinating? The Great Priest smiles. A great attack is launched on the 8th Supreme God. Footsteps begin to emerge over the palace. The 8th of the Supreme observes and speaks. Then that's it. It means you've arrived. Zenosama appears and says, Daishin Khan, because I'm feeling the presence of a being from the past in Son Goku's son's body, what is happening? The Great Priest says, Your Majesty, let me resolve this entire situation. Back to the present moment on the planet Beerus. Goku and Vegeta had performed the training in the Hall of the Gods. Goku had attained his new transformation. Goku says, Mr. Whis and Mr. Beerus, I need to get out of here now because I know a great battle is waiting for us. I need to get to Zenosama's palace soon and get Gohan back. Let's go, Vegeta. At the moment when Goku was getting ready to go, Whis appears in front of him. Goku says, What are you doing? Vegeta watches and says, Kakarot, haven't you noticed yet? Looks like they don't want to let us go. Goku says, Mr. Whis, Mr. Beerus, don't play with us, but we need to get this resolved soon. Beerus watches and says, Not quite. After all, you trained in the Hall of the Gods. We need to test your powers. That's the only way. Goku starts to smile and says, Let's see if my training really worked. Goku says to Vegeta, Let's go. I know the two of us together will be able to show our best performance. We cannot let the future of the universe not be in our hands. If the heavenly gods decide to make the decisions around here, things get a lot more complicated. At that moment, Goku activates his new transformation alongside Vegeta. Vegeta says, Kakarot thinks now is the time to show our true powers. 
Goku next to Vegeta starts attacking Beerus and Whis and dodges with great mastery. Beerus activates Hakai form while Whis utilizes the great mastery of self-movement. Beerus casts a great power over Goku. At that moment, Goku had received several blows from Beerus while Vegeta tried to dodge Whis's blows. Beerus throws Goku and Vegeta away and the two fall. Vegeta says, Kakarot, I don't know if you're feeling this, but I believe that now everything seems to be different. Perhaps this training really did work. Goku watches and starts to smile, saying, Vegeta, now we have the power to show them all that we came here for. It looks like this time we won't be pawns on this chessboard anymore. Goku becomes more and more enraged as he shows the power that he had been reborn a long time ago. Goku's skin darkens. The power of self-motion mastery and the white streaks on his body emerge. Whis watches and says, It looks like this transformation. That's not possible. First Gohan and now Mr. Goku? Does that mean that the reincarnation of the Supreme Gods is being shown over the Saiyans? But unlike Gohan, do Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta have control over this transformation? What is happening here now? Let's analyze. At that moment, Goku starts to get angry and appears behind Whis. Vegeta ends up combining his powers with Goku's and knocks Beerus down. At that moment, that Goku would land a blow directly on Whis. Whis starts to laugh and says, I think that's enough, Mr. Goku and Mr. Vegeta. I think you have now really shown your true powers. Things began to change and we began to understand more about how these situations were happening. Goku deactivates his transformation and speaks. I don't think we have much to do. We need to go directly to Zenosama's palace. Whis and Beerus smile and wish Goku and Vegeta good luck. Goku and Vegeta teleport directly to Zenosama's palace. The great priest was seated there in front of Zenosama's palace. Gohan wasn't there. Goku and Vegeta look at the great priest and say, Great priest, what happened around here? The great priest responds, We have a little problem now. Zenosama was captured by the 8th Supreme God. Goku and Vegeta are startled. Goku and Vegeta arrive at the Grand Priest Palace and to a big surprise, the High Priest said that Zenosama was captured by the 8th Supreme God. Goku says, How is this possible? Are you saying that the bean incorporated into Gohan ended up accomplishing all this? How could Zeno have been captured? Even more being by your side. Daishinkan observes and speaks. I thought I was fighting only the 8th Supreme God until the moment I felt a power similar to that of the Lord, Lord Goku. I thought they were already reinforcements. If Lord Zeno used magic to erase the universe, he would simply directly erase his own palace. So his magic power ended up having no effect here. It was at this moment that the other presence appeared and ended up trying to directly attack Zeno-sama. I got in front of the attack which served as a distraction for the 8th of the Supreme to teleport to Zeno and get him out of the palace. Now I really don't know where Zeno is. We will need to try to analyze this whole situation before we start acting. I see that San Gohan is not an evil being but it seems he takes on another personality upon reaching this level 2 beast form. After he shows his true powers, it seems that some ancient god takes possession of him. Looks like things have gotten a little complicated for us now, doesn't it? Goku starts to question himself and says, But what could we do now, great priest? Daishinkan says, There is a place that will be very interesting for us to understand how things are going to work. It's called the Dimension of Emotions. There we will certainly be able to know where the 8th Supreme God might have taken Zenosama. When we can control our own emotions, our reasoning works in a much greater way. I can already imagine how this will happen. Goku smiles and says, This is perfect, let's do it. The great priest watches and speaks. 
However, Lord Goku, even if you find the 8th Supreme God, what will you do? Do you think you will be able to win this battle? The great priest begins to laugh and speaks. I need to test your powers. Goku starts to smile and says, Looks like it wasn't just Mr. Whis and Mr. Beerus who wanted to do this. Do you also want to test my high priest powers? Let's start. Planet Beerus, Whis and Beerus begin to question themselves. What could be happening here sounds a bit strange. The eighth of the Supreme reincarnated in the son of Goku. At other times, we can already see that great battles may be taking place. Things are really going to get a lot more complicated here. What are they planning? I cannot understand. Beerus starts to think. Whis says, Perhaps his goal as he is in Gohan's body is not to directly attack Goku and Vegeta because they are from Universe 7. Maybe his ideal is not to attack Universe 7 and he wants to attack the other universes. Since in case Zenosama cannot interfere in these battles, he might want to release each of the other gods who were trapped in the other universes to start bringing about his rebellion. This could get a lot more complicated, don't you think, Master Beerus? Beerus starts analyzing and says, So you mean if he's not going to directly attack Universe 7, the closest universe we have would be Universe 6, where our brothers would be there. We starts to look very seriously and says, They will know how to fend for themselves. I'm sure they will be able to resolve this situation. Vados, Champa, Hit, Cauliflower and several other warriors will fight. We need to pay close attention to everything that can happen. Beerus continues with a serious look and says, But that still worries me, Whis. Back to Zenosama's palace. Goku starts fighting the great priest. Goku activates his new transformation. As he activates his new transformation, the great priest observes and speaks. I feel like a lot of Whis energy behind you. So you mean you did the training in the Hall of the Gods? Without performing this training, it would be practically impossible for you to at least keep up with my movements. I'm very happy for your great performance, Sir Goku. And you, Vegeta, won't you want to fight? At that moment, Vegeta says yes. Even if you are more powerful than us, our Saiyan style won't let that happen. And I will show you my true power only if Kakarot is defeated. Otherwise, I will save all this just to defeat Kakarot's son. At that moment, the great priest laughs and begins to say, If that's what you want, then come on. The great priest begins to dodge Goku's attacks with great mastery and begins to raise his power more and more and show all his energy. It felt like a power that transcended the limits of existence. Goku wonders, How could anyone manage to fight toe to toe with this guy? The difference between our powers is practically between heaven and earth. I'm not able to understand anything. At any moment, it looks like he might defeat me. Goku starts to take more and more of his powers and his energy gets higher and higher. Goku says, It seems I have no choice. Goku begins to energize a great celestial energy and speaks. I believe that now I will become much more powerful. Goku creates a large spirit bomb in his hand to hit the high priest. The great priest receives the full punch from Goku. Vegeta is surprised and says, how did Kakarot manage to hit the Supreme Angel? The Great Priest observes laughing and says, I believe you are wrong. Goku and Vegeta look again and see that the Great Priest was not hit. It was just an illusion created by him. The Great Priest says, You have just fallen into my secret technique. Now you will have to control your emotions in the dimension of emotions. Goku appeared in a totally different place than Zenosama's palace. Goku wanders. Where am I? The great priest says, I sent you to the dimension of emotions. It's no use you wanting to fight the eighth of a supreme, since he has the same techniques as me. 
As long as you are in that dimension and your body is in Zeno's palace, I could finish you off easily, very quickly. You will have to control your emotions so you don't fall into this eighth of the supreme technique anymore. I wait for you to return or be trapped forever in this dimension, Lord Goku. At that moment, Goku wonders, What's happening to me? It is not possible that the great priest was so powerful and yet the eighth supreme god still had strategies to fight him. Goku starts to hear a voice that says, <laughs> Kakarot, you never change. By sheer luck he defeated me in the past and said he would be the most powerful. Goku wonders, what's happening? Who are you? A large silhouette appears. A warrior with hair that looked like a Super Saiyan 3 starts to smile. The warrior says, Don't you remember your brother? It's been a long time, Kakarot. Goku gets angry and says, How is that possible? You wretch raditz, what are you doing here? Moving on to Universe 6. The 8th Supreme God Gohan appears in this universe. The moment the 8th Supreme God appears, Shampa and Vados teleport to the location of the 8th Supreme God in the universe number 6. Champa says, I could perceive a very immense power coming from here. You're not just any Saiyan. Who are you really? Vados observes and speaks. Looks like we have a big problem here in universe number 6, Mr. Champa. How will you go about solving it? Champa says, I'm gonna take this guy down right here and now because I am the most powerful god of destruction of all. The Eighth Supreme starts laughing and says, It's no use. You always wanted to waste your lives needlessly. I didn't come here to fight you. But if you want to fight so bad, I'm going to finish you too now. Goku begins to have his memories distorted. Goku sees Raditz's image and starts to wonder, What's happening to me? Is this an illusion? It looks so real. I don't understand what is happening. At that moment, the silhouette of Raditz appears in front of him and says, Don't you remember everything that happened, Kakarot? How can you not remember your big brother? Goku starts to wonder. A large light appears in front of Goku. Raditz says, Just look at the truth of what happened during all this time. Goku discovers the truth in the dimension of emotions from his brother Raditz. Goku and Piccolo were fighting one against Raditz until the moment when Raditz says, Kakarot, it's impossible for you to beat me. Come soon with me or I will destroy all your friends. At that moment, Goku starts talking. It doesn't matter if you're my brother. It doesn't matter who you really are. If you want to end my family and the earth, I would end you right now. Goku sacrifices his life and Raditz is killed. In the battle against the Saiyans, Goku says, Guys, I need you to resurrect my brother. At that time, Goku speaks. Everybody talks. Are you crazy? How do you want us to resurrect the guy who was literally to blame for his death? Goku says, Does not matter. I have many questions for him. Back to the present moment, Raditz starts talking. A lot of things ended up happening. Many things were developed, Kakarot. Can you understand now? The upbringing I had was a far more complicated upbringing than yours. You came to a peaceful planet, while I was sent alongside Vegeta and Nappa to destroy everything. The joy we had was to destroy and conquer planets. We never thought of having another kind of ambition. Vegeta was already planning his revenge against Frieza. But in my case, what could I do? I was just a low-class Saiyajin from where he just followed orders. Since I was little, I was raised with this evil. What do you think about this, Kakarot? Want to judge me more? What do you want me to do? Goku starts looking at Raditz and says, I seem to understand everything that happened. This is all starting to make more sense to me. Goku at that moment starts to put his hand on his head and says, But still, that doesn't make sense. I do not remember you. Unlike Vegeta, you had not been resurrected. All the battles we had alongside the Z warriors, I don't remember you even being my brother. Reddit starts to speak. 
All of this would have been different, Kakarot. Your fight against Freezer, I would be there. Check it out. Freezer showed great powers that caused several other beings to be killed. Practically, the Namekians were enslaved, and many battles ended up taking place in the face of all that. You have awakened the Super Saiyan transformation. That until then was considered the legendary transformation. I would be by your side and show you all the powers you could attain. Think, Kakarot, the two of us together fighting all enemies. There are several timelines. May I help you? I can make you stronger and stronger. After all, the two of us are Bardock's children. Goku looks at Raditz and starts to get serious and says, You are not telling the truth. I remember very well everything that happened. You just wanted to attack everyone. You had no mercy at all for Gohan, who was just a child. You attacked Krillin. I wanted to attack Master Roshi and everyone else. You were only meant to take me back and destroy the entire Earth. That's why you died. At that moment, Raditz says, You had mercy on Vegeta. If you had pity that you were wanting to attack and end everything, why didn't you have pity on your brother? Can you understand this? Bring me back, Kakarot. We have great powers and great abilities that can be shown and developed together. Let me fight by your side. Any threat we can defeat. After all, we are brothers and sons of the legendary Saiyan. When you fought Majin Buu directly, you used and asked for energy for all universes. I was in another world giving you my energy. Check it out. Goku starts having a turmoil in his head again and sees his fight against Majin Buu. Goku asks everyone for energy to perform his spirit bomb. At that moment, when Goku had great dexterity to perform the ultimate attack and finish off Majin Buu, Everyone was watching from all universes the battle that Goku was having. Raditz was in hell fighting various beings, showing that all this time he was dead, he was getting more and more powerful and made everyone raise their heads to help Goku perform his spirit bomb against the demon Majin Buu. Goku is surprised and says, It cannot be. Is this really true? At that moment, Raditz speaks. You must accept your royal Kakarot family. I am really here to help. How about we forget about the fights of the past and try to make a fresh start? At that moment, Goku starts to smile and speaks. I really wish we could have this conversation and resolve this whole situation. Still, I really want to see if you've gotten stronger. But all this cannot happen now. Raditz's face changes. How do you want to refuse your brother? Goku watches and speaks. My real brother is dead now, at least in this universe. So I'll go after him myself as soon as I'm done with all the threats that are showing up around here. I don't know who is using this energy on me. Maybe it's the power of the great priest. But now I need to come back to my reality. After that, he would have matters to deal with directly with Lord Kai. I will check this whole situation. At that moment, Goku begins to emanate greatly his energy. In a few moments, Goku's power rises more and more and the barrier in the dimension of emotions is broken. At that moment, Goku observes and returns to his normal sanity. At that time, the great priest says, Well done, Goku. It looks like you managed to escape the technique where emotions are brought directly to the user. It looks like the next step will be for you to face these supreme gods. What will your decision be now? Vegeta appears and says, This really was a really crazy thing. It seems that I saw my father and managed to talk to him. But they had a totally different personality than before. The great priest says, I hope you learned a lot. Hope you guys managed to get a lot stronger. Because a great threat in the universe number 6 is taking place. Goku starts to smile when he sees the image of Raditz in front of him. Goku says, Now I have the power needed to defeat the 8th of the ultimate. Northern Galaxy, Lord Kai's planet. Lord Kai says, Looks like you're as strong as your brother, Goku. Raditz appears and says, Soon. 
I will help you in this celestial battle. Universe 6 Gohan Beast Mode 2 embodied in the 8th Supreme God has just arrived to the twin universe of Universe 7. Champa and Vados welcome Gohan Beast Mode 2 to Universe 6. Champa says, So you are that mortal who fought in the Tournament of Power. I don't remember you showing such a great performance in the tournament. How dare you come here to challenge the gods or even my universe? Know that my universe didn't win the Tournament of Power only because we didn't have time to train long enough. Now everyone is extremely powerful and you won't be able to do anything in front of us. Gohan starts watching and laughing. Champa says, Why are you laughing? What audacity! Gohan looks at Vados and speaks, It seems that the angel of your universe is much more intelligent than the god of destruction himself. You don't know who you're messing with. Vados observes and says, Mr. Champa, looks like this kid is no ordinary kid. In addition to having awakened new powers, he apparently still possesses extremely high skill. But I feel like an energy from millennia ago is embedded in his body. You mean he wants to end everything and everyone here? But somehow, we'll have to put an end to it. Won't we even ask permission from the other universes to be able to do away with the mortal from another universe? Maybe it would be interesting for me to go to Universe 7. Gohan starts to laugh and says, Who would you ask permission to break up with me? Champa says, The Great Priest and Zenosama, you insolent. Gohan, embodied in the 8th Supreme God, starts to laugh. Good! For you to get to Zenosama, you would first have to go through me, because he is in a place where I left him on the verge of death. Frightened Flame speaks. What? You must be kidding. Alright partner, if you are enjoying this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new videos and stay tuned to our entire universe of Z Warriors. Without further ado, let's get straight to the point. In an unknown galaxy, Zenosama, all bruised, says, That didn't look like Goku's son. Why did he bring me here? It didn't feel real. I was just going to erase his existence, but my powers didn't work on him. As I don't have great physical strength, he ended up hitting me a lot. But I am the creator of everything. If you break up with me, what will happen? At that time, my guards could be here beside me. Not even for that these guys are good enough. What am I going to do now? I need to think. Many complicated things can still happen. Is this how things will work out? Goku, where are you, my friend? Universe number 7 Goku, after having had all his training, starts talking to the Great Priest. Goku says, Great Priest, I was able to sense a space of Gohan's energy directly in Universe number 6. It might be interesting to go there. Beerus and Whis appear at Zenosama's palace. Beerus speaks. Goku better pay some attention. It's not ideal to invade universe number 6 right now. Vegeta is just watching. Goku says. But why Sir Beerus? They will be able to end it all. They want to destroy anyone here. At that moment, Wee starts to laugh and speaks. Now Sir Goku. Don't think that you and Mr. Vegeta are the only ones who were trained around here. You can be sure that Hit, Cauliflower and everyone else are much stronger. Universe Sixers warriors continued performing the arduous training to protect their universes. At no time did Champa and Vados ask for our help. So you can be sure that it would be a great dishonor as fighters and protectors of a universe if we left our universe and went directly to defend a threat that is not affecting us right now. Can you understand this? The situation is complicated. Even though it's not 100% Gohan who's fighting. Even with all this development, we still need to believe in all other mortals. So far, you are protectors of Universe 7. Not even Master Beerus, who is the God of Destruction, has the right to invade other universes. Can you understand the gravity of this situation? Goku observes and speaks. But the Great Priest trained us here. 
the great priest observes and says, This is a somewhat questionable problem. Weiss says, It makes perfect sense. Maybe we should somehow look for where he is or what is the true whereabouts of Lord Zeno. Where did the Eighth Supreme God take Zeno Sama? This can be more complicated for us. If something happens to Zeno Sama, a major catastrophe in the world can be created and this will cause major meltdowns to eventually occur. We need to pay close attention, can you understand? Goku watches and speaks. As much as I wanted to fight Gohan and fight the Eighth of the Ultimate, it really makes a lot more sense, Mr. Whis. In Universes 6, we have hit, and whether or not, that fusion of cauliflowers is very powerful. Maybe that makes total sense for them to win. They must have trained and become much stronger. Goku gets excited and says, So we're definitely going to look for Mr. Zeno to really understand where he is. Universe 6 Champa and Vados are shocked to find that Zenosama has been captured by the High Priest. Everyone discovers that Zenosama has been captured by the Gohan embodied in the Eighth Supreme God. Things start to get a lot more complicated. The Great Priest Gohan watches and says, Good, but I've said too much. I think now is the time to finish you off. Gohan again activates his Beast Mode 2 transformation, but this time, his body begins to take on a more different form. The red streaks on his body started to get darker. His strength and his energy seem to have increased even more. Champa watches and speaks. This boy really has a lot of strength. He will be a problem if in fact what he said is true. He actually had a battle against the great priest. I will have to use my ultra ego. And what will you do, Vados? Vados begins to smile and speaks. Sir Champa, do you really believe that this mortal can come here and directly challenge a god of destruction? Do you think you are correct? Champa starts to laugh and says, Well, really, it doesn't make much sense. Hey boy, I have a proposal now for you. Before you fight me, you will have to know the power of the most powerful true mortals in the universe 6. At that instant, Gohan embodied in the 8th Supreme God says, Challenge accepted. You will know my true fury. Then I will finish you. I confess that I didn't come here for battles, but since you insist, you will have to know my true power. Everyone goes to the Saiyan planet of Universe 6. Hit is summoned to the Saiyan planet and there were Kale and Kalifla. Champa and Vados had explained the whole situation to them. Kalifla says, So it means that this is the son of that little uncle from the Tournament of Power. This time we won't lose. We'll show him all of our real Kale training. Kale and Kalifla merge again and Kefla is born. Kefla activates her Super Saiyan 2 and soon after, she ends up activating a different transformation in which her body starts to turn grey. Gohan says, What kind of transformation is this? Kefla says, This is the transformation made to end you. Soon after, Hit appears and raises his energy to the maximum. Gohan is impressed. Gohan, embodied in the Eighth Supreme God, speaks. Looks like things won't be so easy here in this universe. The voice of the Eighth Supreme God says, Maybe I need a little more time to be able to execute my plan. Let's dance. It's time for me to warm up with you. Gohan Beast Mode 2 embodied in the 8th Supreme God starts his battle in Universe 6 against Kefla. Champa observes and says, This boy is managing to fight even against Kefla who is among the most powerful fighters in this entire universe. He really wasn't kidding when he said his powers had gotten much higher. Vados tries to understand and says, my memory isn't very good right now, but I would guess that this boy is fighting exactly like the 8th Supreme God who fought in the Celestial War. In that war, my father had to show great power and use the planetary devastation to eliminate the Supreme God. Does this boy somehow have a connection with the 8th Supreme God? Gohan starts laughing and says, 
Very insightful, Angel of Universe 6. Looks like you discovered my secret. Kefla punches Gohan in the face and says, You are fighting me. Hit observes and speaks. In every scenario I can imagine, I can't see a good situation for Kefla in this battle. I hope I'm wrong. Champa is startled and speaks. Do you think that? You should trust your battle friends more. Hit responds. I'm just telling the truth. Vados interrupts and says, Mr. Champa, I think you'll have to stay here for a long time and take care of this situation. I need to pay a visit to Universe 7. Champa says, How so, Vados? What are you going to do in Universe 7? Vados smiles and speaks. If indeed this boy has a relationship with the Eighth of the Supreme, things are going to get a lot more complicated here. I need to talk to my father. Gohan said that Zeno-sama was captured. Surely, Whis must already be looking for my father. I will go there. I need to know what decision we're going to make now. Maybe we really have to eliminate this kid. Champa watches and speaks. Do as you wish. Vados, I'm going to kick this kid in the face right now. Vados teleports through the celestial cube directly to Zenosama's palace. The palace of Zenosama. Goku, Vegeta, Beerus, and the great priest were about to start their search for Zenosama. Vados arrives at the palace from scratch. We says, Let's see if it's not my sister. We were just talking about you and Mr. Champa. Vados looks at Whis with a smirk. We seem to welcome Son Gohan, or let's say the son of Son Goku, the reincarnation of the Eighth Supreme God. I was sure I remembered this boy. That face after activating his transformation, he was the face of the Eighth of the Supreme, and his antics and his way of fighting were the same. Does this mean that this boy wants to eliminate all the universes? What amazes me is that when he arrived, he didn't say he didn't want to fight us. He simply saw it all and said he had other ideals to fulfill. But Champa ended up pushing the envelope and now he's fighting Cauliflower and Hit from the planet Zadala. I came here to speak with my Lord Father. The great priest smiling says, Because speak vain, what do you want? Vados Barros says, you gave me permission to eliminate this mortal in my own universe to keep things from getting more complicated. In universe 6 is where there is the portal to the 4th Supreme God. If he manages to free the 4th Supreme God, we can say that the celestial threat will get bigger and bigger and rest assured that we will have major complications. Each of the twin universes has a portal of a Supreme God. If he actually manages to do that, do you have any idea what could happen? That's why he captured Zenosama. Zenosama's powers don't work against the Supreme God, and the physical strength in Zeno's body isn't great. He could easily be making Zenosama a prisoner. He knows he needs Zenosama to open the last portal. We'll be able to eliminate this entire threat if we finish off Son Gohan now. Goku interferes and says, Vados! You can't do that regardless of what's going on. Gohan isn't like that. He has a pure heart. Some being is trying to take over his body. He may have shown great heightened power and someone is taking advantage of the energy he has shown. I can't let you lay a finger on Gohan. Great priest, Mr. Whis, I'm sorry. If she threatens to want to eliminate Gohan's existence, I'll have to stop her. Vado starts to laugh and says, do you think you will really be able to do something against me, Goku? You have no idea what I can do to you. I'm not as nice as Whis. Whis is only here to train you and make sure you and Vegeta bring balance in the spare time Beerus is away. But I'm totally different. I have no mercy for any mortal who wants to attack my universe, and my brother must have already told you that I am much more powerful than he is. The great priest begins to watch. Vado says, My dad, let me take care of Son Goku first. 
I know you intend to go after Zenosama, but those decisions cannot happen here. The great priest is watching, and Whis says, Does that mean that's how it's going to happen? Vados, I will fight you myself. I won't let you try to finish off the mortals of Universe 7. At that moment, Goku says, No, Mr. Whis, this battle is mine. The great priest watches. Whis says, Lord Goku, don't try to do this. If this battle gets more intense, things get a lot more complicated. Beerus is watching. Vados prepares in battle stance and Goku activates his new King God transformation. Vados says, Looks like you have hidden tricks too. That energy, you sure had to train in the Hall of the Gods. Does that mean you keep giving these mortals more powers? Beerus says, We are just doing what any god of destruction would do. After all, I slept for millennia, and in all those millennia, several threats appeared. Our Universe 7 fighting power has to be stronger and stronger. Vado starts to laugh and says, Whatever. Goku steps forward to attack Vados. Vados with great mastery ends up dodging all of Goku's blows and says, I've already said that I won't be as flippant as Whis. Vados directly activates the Ultra Angel Instinct. Whis says, There's no way she's really wanting to fight this seriously. Vados starts throwing several blows at Goku. Goku speaks, This power is totally different than before. Is this the true power of an angel? Has Mr. Whis always been playing with me? The power I have from this transformation will never do any good. Damn, what am I supposed to do? Goku is being cornered. Goku begins to have Gohan's memories. Goku thinks, If I don't do anything here now, they'll finish off Gohan. I cannot let that happen. How am I going to protect all of Universe 7 if I can't even protect my son? A voice comes over Goku. You need more power, don't you? Do you want to save your child? Goku says, Who is talking? The unknown voice says, I am just you, and you are a god. Goku's body begins to have a major anomaly. Whis changes the look of his face. Beerus says, You noticed. It's not Whis. Let's pretend that nothing is happening. Goku's body begins to undergo a major change. Vegeta speaks. What's going on with Kakarot? Is this a new transformation? Goku's body begins to receive all the universal energy. His body color starts to turn reddish and darker. Goku says, What is happening to my body? Goku manages to dodge Vardos' mastery of auto-movement and lands a real attack on the Angel of Universe 6. Vardos is thrown away. Goku was about to attack Vardos again. At that moment, the Great Priest stops Goku's blow and says, This is enough. Mr. Goku, this appearance of yours is causing me a much bigger question. Vardos starts to smile and says, until that way, Goku became much more handsome. It would be a waste to finish him off. Maybe I should just let it go and do nothing with your son. After the major conflicts were over, Goku had passed out from this transformation. Beerus says, This transformation was quite different. We will need to analyze. It's no longer enough for Goku's son to be reincarnated in the Eighth of the Supreme. The fourth Supreme God possessed this body power in a dark and red form. Let's wait. The Great Priest says, While you were fighting, I managed to detect the galaxy where Zenosama is. Vados observes and says, Alright, I'll go with you and then we'll go to Universe 6. I need to see everything that's going on. Universe 6. At that moment, Cauliflower and Kale were lying on the floor. Gohan, smiling, says, Who will be the next one? You are very weak. Hit appears behind Gohan and says, Now you will fight with me, the most powerful mortal in Universe 6. 
Gohan defeated Kefla. At that moment, Caulifla and Kale fall to the planet Sadala. Caulifla says, Looks like I haven't been able to defeat this guy. He's actually more powerful than Goku himself. How did this boy not show such power in the tournament of universes? Gohan says, It's very easy to fight the mortals of this universe. You can't show anything different. See God of Destruction in Universe 6? You should have come at me right from the start. I'll end with you. Hit teleports behind Gohan and says, Now you will know the true power of the most feared assassin in Universe 6. Gohan starts to laugh and says, Does that mean then that this is your power? Interesting. Time jump, that's how he got to me. Hit observes and speaks. Does that mean you know this technique? You will discover the true power of Universe 6. Gohan and Hit start the fight. Champa speaks. Come on, Hit! Show this guy how to fight for real! Hit uses his time leap and tries to land several blows on Gohan. Gohan again takes possession of the 8th Supreme God. Gohan's body, embedded in the 8th Supreme God, begins to laugh from the Hit. The 8th Supreme God uses a technique very similar to Hit's time jump. Hit wanders. How is this possible? Can this kid also perform the time jump? Gohan starts laughing and says, You won't be able to do anything here in the face of this fight. I would have to end you now. Pay attention, this is the blow that will make you disappear from this place. Gohan puts two fingers on the test and performs the Makan Kosapo and is about to launch the attack on Hit. Gohan's body starts to shudder. Serious Hit just watched Gohan prepare the attack. Gohan starts to feel a great pain in his head. The 8th Supreme God in Gohan's body says, What do you think you're doing? Who do you think is this boy? Gohan says, I won't let you take over my body. This power you're trying to seize is mine. You cannot do that. Hit and Champa, please finish me now. If you do this, we will be able to prevent a much greater evil. Hit refuses to attack Gohan and Champa starts laughing and says, Very well, you will be eliminated. It will be a very strong blow, but painless for you. Champa prepares to land a Hakai on Gohan. Meanwhile in Universe 7, the great priest had arrived in the southern galaxy, the celestial galaxy where the high gods were sealed. Vegeta, next to the great priest, begins to observe everything that was happening. Vegeta says, Great priest, is this the galaxy where Zenosama is? How did you manage to find this place and whose bodies are here? Goku alongside Whis, Vados and Beerus start analyzing. Goku says, Why was Zenosama brought to this place? The great priest answers, Surely, the 8th Supreme God hit Lord Zeno there just so things could get more complicated. Since the bodies of those Supreme Gods that were sealed are here, your souls are in other universes. Perhaps the 8th Supreme God is looking to drain Zeno's energy so that these can revive. Interesting, but we can't let that happen. We need to look for Zeno Sama. Maybe he left some enemies here. We have to analyze everything that will happen. A shudder between the universes arises. Vado says, It seems that the energy of the 8th Supreme God has just let his guard down, and it seems that Lord Champa's energy is increasing more and more. Goku worries and says, If the energy of the 8th Supreme God is low, it means that Gohan has managed to control his power. Or what else could be happening? Let's watch and talk. Maybe things are a little more complicated than you think, Mr. Goku. If you look closely, we can see that Lord Champa is about to energize a Hakai energy. Maybe he's looking to eliminate Mr. Gohan directly. But Mr. Champa is wrong. If he lands a Hakai directly on Gohan and eliminates his existence, 
the spirit of the eighth supreme god will still roam and he will only look for another powerful being to take possession of his body. Then Gohan's life would be wasted in vain. He knows very well, or he should have known, that this would only work if there was some kind of ceiling. Beerus says, Shampa is very smart. He would never understand this. Looks like we're in serious trouble right now. Vado says, I think it's no use. I will have to go to the Universe 6. I'll leave this mission of looking for Zenosama to you. At that moment, Goku says, Vados, please let me go with you. I want to try one more time with Gohan. Vegeta says, If Kakarot goes, I will too. I will not leave this worm behind. The great priest next to Whis and Beerus says, So it seems that this task of looking for Zenosama will stay with us here. You are very strong. If a threat appears, we will join forces. Vados, Goku and Vegeta, go to Universe 6. At the moment when Champa was about to use Hakai on Gohan, Goku appears and lands a kick on Champa's hand. Champa says, you are crazy, you mortal. How dare you stop my big blow? I was about to finish this boy, this mortal who wanted to destroy everything here. Gohan says, Dad, I need you to get out of here. I am holding back my power of the Eighth Supreme God. Let me sort this out. Goku says, Calm down, Gohan. This time we'll find some way to get you back to normal. Goku sees Hit and says, it's been a while, Hit. You must have gotten a lot stronger. Brave Champa speaks. It's not possible. What are you doing here? You guys only show up here to cause trouble. I will finish you here now. Vados, do not get involved in this battle. These Saiyans are asking to see the other side of the world. Champa becomes enraged and activates his Hakai form. Vegeta dictates to watch and Goku activates his Ultra God form. Goku begins to battle Champa. Champa says, I know you fought Beerus, but don't think that my power and skills are equal to Beerus's. You will now know the true power of a God of Destruction. Goku in his Ultra God transformation begins to contain himself and says, Just now I managed to have a battle against Vados. Champa responds, Impossible! Vados must have just teased you. But to me it doesn't matter if you fought an angel or not. What do you think we gods of destruction have to do to get that job? Goku and Champa start exchanging several blows until the moment when Goku starts to smile and says, That power again is coming to my body. Vados begins to observe and speaks. Will he show that transformation again? At the moment when the power of darkness was apparently taking hold of Goku, Gohan without explanation starts to contain his energy and smiles. Goku says, It doesn't matter anymore. Now I will be able to get much stronger with just my Ultra God power. Goku starts to lose some of his control and lands several blows on Champa. At that moment, Goku takes Champa's two arms and sinks his two feet into his face. The God of Destruction is furious. Champa says, Now you will receive the strongest blow. You activated my Ultra Ego. The more I get hit, the more powerful I get. So now you will know true fury. Goku starts to look darkly. Gohan continues to smile with a totally different smile. Vado's strange what is taking place. Vegeta just watches. Goku says, I think now I'll fight for real with you. Vegeta says, What's going on with Kakarot? That is to say, every time this transformation is activated, it is as if some of the power is transferred to the Supreme God. Does that mean that if I activate this transformation, I can be consumed by this energy? Goku starts throwing several blows at Champa. Champa begins to be at a disadvantage. 
Vado says, I don't know if I should interfere in this battle. Mr. Goku was fighting me and he managed to gain control over his power. Angels cannot engage in battles between mortals. I'm confused on what to do. But if it continues like this, you may end up getting the worst of it. That moment, Champa is thrown away. Goku was totally out of control. Vegeta says, Gohan, or Eighth Supreme God, that's what was on your mind, wasn't it? This was all his plan. I could already imagine. But I am Vegeta, the Prince of the Saiyans, and I will solve all of this. Enraged Champa says, That will not remain like this. It can't end this way. Vegeta appears in front of Champa. Vegeta says, God of destruction of Universe 6, leave Kakarot to me. I already understand what is happening. Goku, with his power out of control, looks at Vegeta and speaks. Vegeta, get out of my way. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego and lands a real punch in Goku's belly. After that, Vegeta says, Now we will fight, from Ultra God transformation to Ultra God transformation. Who will lose control? Who will be the one who gets killed? After that, I will finish with the 8th Supreme God. The 8th Supreme God starts to laugh. Gohan's body is still in crisis. The 8th Supreme God says, It looks like Goku's real powers are on display now. He's lost control against the God of Destruction of Universe 6. Perhaps we can consider him an ally. Gohan watches and speaks. What's happening? It feels like now the 8th gave the ultimate is taking full control of my body again. That couldn't happen. I need to do something. What is happening to my father? He came here to help me and now it looks like he's against everyone. Damn it. Vados observes and says, You mean this is what happens when a Saiyan's power is brought to the Ultra God Force? He ends up losing control. And now Vegeta has activated his Ultra Ego and is saying that he will be able to finish off Goku. Interesting. But did Mr. Vegeta get that powerful up to that point? Vegeta says, Vados, know that I am the Prince of the Saiyans. There is no stage that Kakarot can reach that I can't reach. Vegeta boosts his Ultra Ego further and lands a blow on Goku. Goku tries to dodge it but the Saiyan Prince's speed is too high. Goku smiling says, It looks like you're trying to fight seriously Vegeta. I was gonna take care of the situation here with the God of Destruction of Universe 6 and then we could bring Gohan back. Looks like you're not trusting me. Vegeta smiles and says, Something here impresses me Kakarot. And I think maybe I have to take care of this whole situation. Let's start. The two smile and the battle begins. The Palace of Zenosama. Zenosama's palace was empty after Daishin Khan, Beerus and Whis went directly to find Zeno where he was imprisoned by the 8th Supreme God. An unknown presence appears in Zenosama's palace and says, It seems that everything is going according to plan. The performance of the 8th Supreme God is much greater than we imagined. Maybe this battle will be even easier for us. Does that mean that the Saiyans trained in the room of the gods and achieved the Ultra God transformation? As a result of this, they want to become the most powerful beings. But still, the Supreme Gods are taking care of this situation. Universe 6 is in danger. Angels cannot engage so far in battle. If the High Priest accepts and authorizes the Angels to fight, things might get a little more complicated for us. But for now, let's deal with the Saiyans and the Gods of Destruction. Does that mean that this is Goku's son? This kid has enormous potential. The 8th Supreme God must have already realized this. But what amazes me the most is this new energy that has emerged. 
Goku had already surpassed the God of Destruction of Universe 6, and if this battle had continued, he would surely have defeated him by now. But this guy, Vegeta, it seems he fears no one. Does he possess even greater power? What is he doing here? We need to be very careful. But after all, it doesn't matter, because I am. At that moment, when the unknown voice would say who it was, we have a cut directly to the unknown galaxy, where the great priest is next to Bios and the Is. From Lewis, he says, My dad, I can feel light years from here, a great energy being released directly from Universe 6. It seems that things are now getting much more complicated. Mr. Goku again seems to have lost control of his transformation. At that moment, Beerus starts to laugh and says, Do you understand what this is? Do you understand who will resolve the situation now? Whis and the High Priest begin to watch. The Great Priest says, Does that mean that you, even though you are a Master Disciple, are still able to create this kind of rivalry. Surely, you taught Ultra Ego, and Ultra Ego will be combined with the strength of Ultra God. In the case, Goku was combining the power of the Ultra Instinct with the Ultra God. Whis watches and speaks. Does that mean there is a difference from this teaching in Batala? Maybe this is the way for Mr. Vegeta to control his powers. At that moment, Beerus says, Exactly, Whis. For a long time, I tried to use the Ultra Instinct. But due to my destruction energy being so high, things ended up getting more complicated. At that moment, I gave up controlling the Ultra Instinct and started to work only on my Ultra Ego power, until I managed to reach other levels in battle. And this worked very well because with this skill, I was able to show extremely incredible powers. So now I am sure Vegeta's training will make things much more intense. Vegeta will show his true power and will understand what the Prince of the Saiyans will do. We starts to laugh and says, very well, Sir Beerus. If it continued like this, even I thought it would challenge me. At that moment in Universe 6, Vegeta begins to land several blows on Goku. Vegeta activates his Ultra Ego. Goku looks at Vegeta and speaks. This reminds me of when we fought on Earth and ended up releasing Majin Buu. This time I won't take it easy. The great battle had begun. Champa watches and speaks. The power of this Saiyan is increasing! Gohan continues to laugh and says, God of destruction of Universe 6, I'm still here, and if I want, I can finish you off anytime I feel like it. Champa responds, Out of respect for what the mortal of Universe 7 said, I will leave you alone. But wait, the worst still awaits you, boy. Goku and Vegeta begin to deliver several blows until the point where Goku in his Ultra God form activates his Kaioken increased 100 times over. Vegeta begins to take a huge disadvantage. Vegeta says, My Ultra Ego, the more I get hit, the more powerful I get. Vegeta begins to receive several blows from Goku resembling his first battle he had against the Saiyan. The two begin to show more and more powerful abilities. Vegeta says, Does that mean that this is the true power of Kakarot? So this is the strength of the strongest. Interesting. So now we're gonna sort this all out. Vegeta rages. I think you should know, Kakarot, that by your side, we had a great training in the Room of the Gods. You even showed your Ultra God transformation, and after that you passed out. It took me some time later to master several powers until the moment I managed to reach the Ultra God form. Goku watches and speaks. What, Vegeta? Did you also manage to activate this transformation? Vegeta smiles and says, 
This transformation was chosen by the great celestial being, so I as the prince of the Saiyans can't be left behind by any other Saiyans. That's my ego, and that's the true power of the Ultra God. So I present to you now, Kakarot, for the first time, the transformation of the Ultra God Vegeta. In that instant, all the universes begin to shudder. Everyone starts to wonder and says, What is this? Is this Vegeta's power? What's going on? The Prince of Saiyans is showing his true fury. Everything is shaking. Whis in Universe 7 says, What is happening is not possible. Is this really Lord Vegeta's power? Vera starts to smile and says, After all, he was trained by me. Vegeta appears with his new transformation, showing his true power. Vegeta appears teleporting behind Goku and threatening to land a blow to his face. The two begin to exchange big punches. It looked like Goku's energy was a little drained from the amount of battles he had and the previous fight he had with Champa. Vegeta begins to land several blows on Goku until the moment when Goku falls to the ground and loses his Ultra God transformation. Vegeta says, Kakarot, I will not consider this a battle between us. After all, you were already worn out. I hope you can show me something different. At that moment, we can see that Champa had been attacked from behind by Gohan, embodied in the 8th Supreme God. Vegeta says, Looks like you didn't respect my decision. You're not Kakarot's son. You attacked the God of Destruction of Universe 6. Gohan embodied in the 8th Supreme God says, By the time you started raising your power, I could see that you really are a big threat so I don't have the time to play around here. This will be your end, Vegeta. Vegeta starts to laugh and says, If that's what you think, you will know the true power of the next destroyer of the universe, the great Vegeta. Vegeta vs. Gohan Gohan embodied in the 8th Supreme God vs. Vegeta Ultra God. The battle of the strongest begins now. Vegeta says, it seems this is the first time since the battle when I invaded Earth that I will fight the son of Kakarot. His power really surprises me. Does that mean that we will now have control of this entire battle? Looks like this could be the final fight, doesn't it? If I finish you off now, we won't have the threat within the universes anymore. I won't be as merciful as Kakarot. I can destroy you anytime I want. After all, I am the great Vegeta. Vados begins to observe and is thinking. Vegeta is powerful. He really has the power of the Ultra Ego. He always believes that he is the strongest, that he will defeat any enemy that appears. This is very interesting. But still, if you stop to think about it, at no point did this boy show his true powers. What amazes me is that even though the power of the Eighth Supreme God is in his body, this power is an energy of Gohan. It can still show something totally different. Good. What will happen? At that moment, Vegeta begins to activate his Hakai energy combined with the power of the Ultra God and lands several blows on Gohan incorporated in the Eighth of the Supreme. The battle starts to get more and more intriguing. Vegeta says, Come on, don't play with me. Really show your power. Champa regains consciousness and Vado says, Looks like you've been attacked from behind, said Champa. What happened to you? Weren't you going to defeat the Eighth of the Supreme? Champa says, It felt like a hallucination, but I felt it wasn't his presence that attacked me. Maybe we should be careful because something worse could happen. Vados begins to wonder. The moment you hear everything, Champa says, Vado speaks. So why are they fighting here now? Why directly in Universe 6? Is this all part of some other plan? At that moment in Universe 7, Whis, Beerus and the Great Priest were looking for Zenosama until they found a very large energy where everything indicated that it would be Zeno himself. At that moment, 
Zenosama's guards appear. Whis looks with a surprised face and says, What are you doing here? Did you really find Lord Zeno? In fact, I was going to ask at a certain point, how was Lord Zeno captured and you hadn't gone after him moments ago? The guards say nothing. The great priest speaks. Looks like we have a big problem here, just as I suspected. Perhaps there may be some celestial betrayal in the midst of all this. We will need to think very carefully to solve all this that is happening. The high priest prepares, but Beerus says, I thought angels were forbidden to fight in this heavenly war. I'm going to deal with these guys myself. I already know very well what I have to do here and now. Beerus was already very confident in battle. Beerus says, It's been a long time since a god of destruction fought with all his might. I remember like it was yesterday that I saw these guys fighting. They really are two monsters, but they must be wanting to combine their powers with Zenosama's. If they haven't done so by now, it must be because Zenosama's powers still haven't recovered. Zenosama's guards still don't speak, but they are already preparing for the combat position. The great priest and we say, it will be interesting to follow what is happening. Come on. Beerus raises his God of Destruction power higher and higher, and a new battle in Universe 7 begins. Beerus says, Very well, let's get started. Universe 6. Gohan, in the form of the Eighth of the Ultimate, unleashes several attacks on Vegeta. Vegeta says, Looks like this kid was just kidding. Each time he manages to raise his power even more, but that doesn't matter. In a few moments, Vegeta creates a final flash and hits Gohan in the form of the Eighth of the Supreme. Vegeta says, Just as I thought, even though you have embodied the power of a god, since you started these battles, you keep fighting the enemies that appear. So you didn't rest at all. As you have not rested, your power is wasted. You needed a little recovery, didn't you? But I won't let that happen. Now you will know the true power of the Prince of the Saiyans. Gohan in his final form starts laughing and says, You must be going crazy, Mr. Vegeta, thinking that one day I would be defeated by you. It looks like you have nothing else to show. If so, I'll end you here now. At that moment, Vegeta gets angry and says, Who do you think you're talking to? Now I will show the true strength. Vegeta begins to increasingly elevate his power of the Ultra Ego, combined with the Ultra God form. Gohan starts to laugh. Vados analyzes what Champa says. Looks like Mr. Vegeta is letting himself be provoked and falling into the trap. Goku's body that was resting and starts to make a smile face. We can see a new aura reaching Goku's body and being released over Vegeta's body as well. Vegeta says, what is it? And what's going on with Kakarot's body? The power of the Supreme Heavenly God, the fourth, gave the Supreme was the soul that was sealed away in Universe 6 and ended up being released and being thrown into the body of Goku and Vegeta. Champa says, So that was it. It was this celestial energy that attacked me. It was not that of the eighth Supreme God. Vados, you need to interfere with something. Because if it continues like this, the whole Universe 6 will be destroyed. Bardo says, So it means that this is the power of the Supreme Room. You knew all this, wasn't it the 8th Supreme God? You will have to look for another body. I won't let you take care of this boy anymore. After all, since you guys threatened my universe and it was a Universe 7 fight, I can't let things go that way. The 8th Supreme God in Gohan's body starts watching and says, What are you going to do? I thought angels didn't engage in battles. Vado starts to laugh and says, Planetary sealing technique, revolution and destruction. New age go back to being who you once were and return to your mortal Saiyan essence. At that moment, a large barrier is thrown by Gohan's body. Gohan regains his original consciousness and says, What happened with me? 
I'm not understanding anything anymore. In that instance, we can see that Goku and Vegeta are incorporated into the fourth Supreme God. The voice of the two becomes one voice. When Goku spoke, Vegeta spoke too. Champa says, It looks like their combination of powers are linked. It looks like we're going to have some problems here and through this situation. Gohan speaks, I think that even with my latent powers, fighting the two of them together in this transformation would be crazy. Bardo smiles and says, I can't get involved in this battle anymore, but I would say that the situation for the two of you is still going to get much more complicated. Gohan speaks, I don't know what happened to me all this time, but even if I risk my whole life, I will save this universe. But still, we are in a tricky situation. If I'm not mistaken, there are two types of fusion, Patara and Metamoru. Both Gogeta and Vegito will be a very intense situation for us to solve. Damn it! The fate of the universe is again in my hands. The energy of the 8th Supreme God is sealed in my body, so I believe he won't be involved anymore. But now there is another being dominating my father and Mr. Vegeta's body. Goku, embedded in the 4th Supreme God, tries to attack Gohan and says, I'm just waiting for my powers to recover and a new most powerful being in the universe will arise. Vegeta, embedded in the 4th Supreme God, says, Now the real power of destruction begins. To be continued, what will Gohan and Champa do? Things have really become more complicated now. So tell me partner, what do you think about all this and what do you imagine? Click on that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any more videos. That's all there is to it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now. Ultra God Gogeta vs Gohan Gohan regains consciousness after the 8th Supreme God's energy was sealed and contained in his body by Vados. It looks like things have gotten more complicated now. The 4th Supreme God is taking possession of Goku and Vegeta's bodies. Goku and Vegeta will now fight Gohan and Champa. The real problem within Universe 6 ended up being created. What is happening inside Zeno-sama's palace? Who is this threat that just emerged? Still, after all these events, we can see that a great battle is being waged in the unknown galaxy between Beerus and Zeno-sama's guards. Who is all behind this? Universe 6 Gohan says, It would be too complicated to fight just my father. Now I'll still have to fight Mr. Vegeta as well. If these two ever merge, we will surely be finished. At that moment, Champa says, Hey boy from Universe 7, does that mean you have regained your consciousness? For an instant, I would erase your entire existence. But I'm seeing here that our enemy turned out to be those two who came to save you. You are giving me a lot of headache. Anyway, you'll have to help me now to get these two out of here and after that, I'll go to Universe 7 to settle accounts with Beerus. Gohan says, Don't worry Sir Champa, now I will resolve this situation. Vados begins to smile and speaks. Goku's son is just as handsome as his father. Don't fight him Mr. Champa. He was only carrying out the orders of the spirit of the 8th Supreme God. You know very well that sometimes you can't act in the face of this situation. But now, what are you going to do Sir Gohan? Goku and Vegeta certainly won't let themselves be captured. Gohan starts to smile and says, Good! When I fought Cell Max, I said I would never lose again and I'm sure my limits aren't just my beast form. The power of the 8th Supreme God is actually nothing more and nothing less than the essence of my strength. I'm sure I won't be defeated here. Goku and Vegeta start talking together. Goku says, I don't know what's going on with my body. It seems that another being is trying to dominate me. Is this happening to you too, Vegeta? It seems like now the only thing I want is to finish off the God of Destruction of Universe 6 and Gohan. At that moment, Gohan starts to raise his energy even more. Gohan attacks Goku and Vegeta. Goku and Vegeta begin to dodge with the mastery of Ultra Ego and Self-Movement. 
Gohan uses his beast form and combines his Ultra God power which would be the power of the Ultimate God. Gohan says, It seems that now I can control my strength very well. So does this mean that this is the power that I will be able to realize the true energy of the Supreme God? At that moment, Goku and Vegeta begin to take a disadvantage. Goku says, It seems that this power of the 8th Supreme God really is amazing. But you'll need much more than that to finish us off. I don't have time to play games with you, Gohan, so we can't take the essence of sins, as you fought us several times using powers that weren't yours. Theoretically, now we will use a technique that will make you regret it even more. At that moment, Goku uses the Taioken technique that makes everyone unable to see. Champa begins to observe and speaks. This couldn't have happened. What are they thinking of doing? Vados watches and says, Looks like they're using the other types of tricks. This is certainly not Mr. Goku's custom. It's certainly the fourth supreme god in your body. Being treacherous because the fourth supreme god always wanted to do that. But it looks like we're in a tricky situation, Sir Champa. At that moment, Vegeta says, Kakarot, this is the time. Come on. In a few moments, Goku and Vegeta begin to perform the Meta Moru dance. We hear the word fusion. Gohan is startled and says, No, that cannot happen. Vado says, Where is Goku? Where is Vegeta? Champa says, The energy of the two is gone, but it seems that now a much greater energy is being created. I can't understand it. It couldn't happen. In that instant, we can see that the great battle was apparently about to begin. The mightiest warrior is born. The mightiest warrior says, I am not Goku nor Vegeta. I am the most powerful warrior and the true destroyer of all universes. I am the great ultra god, Gogeta. The power of the fourth supreme god is with me. Gogeta, embedded in the fourth supreme god, alters his tone of voice. Vado smiles and says, It seems that this power is stronger even than that of the other celestial beings who fought in the celestial war. It will be practically impossible for Mr. Gohan to accomplish anything here. We are in a much more delicate situation. Gohan observes and speaks, I could not have let this happen. It seems that now everything is really complicated. If I try to do something, I would surely be defeated. Damn it! What can happen now? The fourth supreme god says, Looks like I'll have to find a way to get the eighth supreme god out of the ceiling. But this boy doesn't mean anything anymore. His power is only the essence of the eighth supreme god. I'll have to go back to universe 7 and get him. I think we already have a more special presence in Zeno-sama's palace. And yet, to top it all off, the High Priest is over there. I can feel his energy light years from here. He is definitely on Beerus's side, and Zeno-sama's guards are trying to stop Zeno from coming back. Very interesting. But I would have to resolve this situation now. It was a pleasure to see you here. I have no intention of killing you. In that instant, a great energy is created. Gohan gets angry and says, Who do you think you are? Return the bodies of Mr. Vegeta and my father soon. I will finish you, even if I have to break all your bones. Ultra God Gogeta, embedded in the Supreme God, starts laughing and says, That won't do any good. If that's what you want, please come. Gohan tries to launch several attacks on Ultra God Gogeta, which is useless until the moment when Ultra God Gogeta starts to launch several attacks and hits a Big Bang Kamehameha on Gohan. Gohan is knocked away and knocked unconscious. Everything goes dark, hours go by. Gohan starts blinking his eyes and tries to remember what happened. At that moment, Vados wakes up Gohan and Champa is beside him. Gohan was already on the planet of the God of Destruction of Universe 6. Gohan says, What happened? Where is the fourth Supreme God? Where's Gogeta? 
Champa looks seriously and says, Looks like we've been defeated. But they took pity on us for some reason and didn't mean to destroy us. He said he was going directly to Universe 7 and that would wipe out all other threats. I couldn't quite understand what the true purpose of the Supreme Gods is. Do they want to rule everyone and for some reason need us to be alive for that? I cannot understand. Gohan watches and speaks. This cannot happen. I need to train and master my powers. But maybe there is another method for us to accomplish and defeat these guys. What is Gohan thinking? Gohan starts to smile. Vados and Champa begin to look with amazement at the smile that Goku's son shows. Universe 7 Zenosama's Palace The unknown being continued analyzing the situation. Ultra God Gogeta appears. At that moment, the unknown being says, Looks like you've finally arrived. So is this the warrior who is among the most powerful in the universe? Interesting. Now I have a mission for you. You will have to destroy the supreme existence of the planet. To be continued, what is happening in the face of all this? Was the real objective Gohan or the power of Goku and Vegeta combined? A lot will be unfolded in the face of all this. Regardless of what it is, it is more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so that we can get into a crazy debate. Click the like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any videos like this. That's all there is to it. I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.